greetings friends, casual observers, and, of course, chance. Caught your rant about letting you do your quote-unquote job, and wanted to take the opportunity to respond as fast as I could. I know your attention span is rather short. Let's look at what you said, and I'll explain almost everything. Almost. As I am not N-word boy, I can't answer your direct questions to him. What's up, YouTube? So, I'm here to talk about something. Uh, something that has been on my mind for a while. And what I want to know is why you trolls continue to attack me. I mean, why? I, mean, I understand that I may have made some mistakes. And I get that you guys don't like that I don't say what it is. But there's a reason why I don't. There's a very valid reason why I don't. Granted, some of you might not go after me for it. And that is true. Some of you do genuinely want to see me better myself. And I appreciate that. Even if, even those of you that don't like me, some of you do want to see me better myself. And I want to do better. I do. But the reason why I will not speak about what went down with Marty or with Tibbs is because I know there's a few out there that would blast me even more. Something just occurred to me, Raxo. I've never told you why I'm here. It is so simple. I am certain even you have the ability to comprehend my primary reason for wanting to see your internet presence erased. You are a predator of children. You say Kate had no reason to suspect you, I say she most certainly did. You were reaching out to bullied people. The vast majority of bullied people are children. You may be too dumb to realize that, or you may be a clever little sicko specifically targeting kids. Either way, you are inviting children to contact you by merely putting on a show. The best way to keep you away from kids is keeping you off the internet. People like me will never stop, and there will be more and more of us the longer you stay online. Why? Because we don't want an actual 14-year-old being used like you used Kate. Or potentially worse. And attack me even more than what I've been attacked already. That's why I won't say anything. Because I know what's going to happen. Because I've witnessed it. I have witnessed good people that made mistakes. Open up and admit to what they did. And they just ruthlessly got ripped apart. Which is why I refuse to do that. Who are you talking about, Cyrax? Who are these so-called good people who were torn apart after admitting their mistakes? Do you mean people like Earl Doobie? Or perhaps your fellow cupcake aficionado EDP? You just don't understand. As a society, we've decided that kids need to be left alone to be kids. Whether you admit it or not chance, you're just like them. Especially EDP, you both made the same quote-unquote mistake and failed the cupcake test. Normal people see sentences like, I'm gonna be 15 in May, and read them as, I'm a stupid 14-year-old kid who thinks I'm already a grown-up. A sicko would ignore it and instead respond to the comment about penis size, and guess what chance? That is exactly what you did. But as for people like Edward Boy, I genuinely have a question for you. I mean, this is a genuine question, dude. What do you gain by stealing my music? Like, what do you gain by stealing shit that is not yours? What do you gain from that? Hmm? What do you gain from ripping me off? What do you gain from reporting my shit to where I can't do anything? You do know that if you weren't doing anything wrong, then mass reporting wouldn't work. If you were doing everything by the book, you'd have no problem. YouTube operates based on rules, and when people see you break them, they can't wait to tell on you. Sure, it might seem like snitching. It's actually just our way of not letting you get away with cheating, which you most certainly are attempting to do. Every time you hurl a racial or homophobic slur, you're pissing on YouTube terms of service. Do you really expect them to not do anything? If you want to spread your homophobic, racial hate, head over to what used to be Twitter. Elon Musk loves dummies like you. I mean, obviously you get a laugh, but after you get a laugh, what else is there, dude? I don't see the point. I mean, it's funny, people like you, and some of y'all other trolls, people like you and Boy and others that follow you, always sit there and say, oh, get off the internet, get off the internet. We'll leave you alone if you get off the internet. No, you won't. Look at it this way, Chance. As long as you're on the internet, you are a threat to children. 
the longer you stay, the more trolls you'll accumulate. Period. You'll continue to attack me in real fucking life. It happens every time. Prime example, when I got arrested last year and I stayed off the internet for over six months. Stop. Hold it right there, Sunny Jim. Let's check the math on that, shall we? You were arrested on June 25th, 2023. Six months would have been Christmas 2023. Now I'm just going to hop onto N-Word Boy 3.0 and give the mouse wheel a roll or several to go back in time. Oh hey Chance, check this out. You were online in October and I see even earlier videos. Not even gonna search his other channel because we both know you weren't gone for six months, Raxo. What happened? I still got attacked. My family still got harassed. People still showed up to my house. So no, I'm not gonna get off the internet. As second off, I have just as much right to be on here as anyone else. As I said, you weren't gone that long and even when you weren't posting your garbage, you were still engaging with trolls. Remember any leaked phone calls last August chance? I do. Here's a little refresher for you. Why did you bitch out of my stream, Cyrax? Well, you didn't answer my question, Cyrax. Why did you bitch? My kids wouldn't bitch down out of my stream. My, 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 my kids would show up to the stream. Why don't you go back and do that fucking crack? You're so adamant, dumbass. You're turn, cutie. Cyrax, why are you so angry, dude? Hey, crackhead. I guess what? I'll be seeing your bitch ass in court and guess you what? You're gonna see my bitch ass in no, court? I gave you a fucking shit. And, because I know your attention span is waning, I'll emphasize the point. You're a liar, Chance. Either that or you're literally too dumb to remember the events of your own life. We are not dumb. We have attention spans and memories capable of remembering things like you coping about the arrest a month after. Maybe the few weeks you were gone seemed like six months in your mind. We know better. Take some time and think about it. We can't be gaslit and we're much smarter than you. To be clear, I don't just mean myself. I mean almost every troll and lull cow watcher is smarter than you. And to you smart people I say thank you for watching. While Chance tries to deflect or integrate this knowledge, I'm going to prepare part two of this no matter what happens been waiting for an opportunity like this and won't let it slip. Good night slash day, hope to see you again soon.